Hi guys, um, sorry if I sound like super awful, by the way, I'm kind of sick at the moment, um, not like super sick, but just come down with something. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video in like a couple weeks, um, I don't know why, I think things just got kind of on top of me a little bit and making videos just kind of I took a bit of a sideline. And um, I was having real big problems with my laptop as well. It's been really quite awful um, lately. But um, yeah, so I'm back. So I thought that to uh, start back on videos, I'd start with something quite easy. Um, if you follow my Instagram, which is listed below, and I'll put it on the screen at Claire Eats Teacups. <coughs> um, sorry, guys, I'm like really crap at this today <laughs> but um yeah if you follow me on my instagram you might see that i've been um doing inktober this year and doing it properly as well like properly committing to it um i think i tried either last year or the year before and just did not stick to it in the slightest um so this year i'm doing it but i'm uh trying to do it with a prompt to see if that helps me so i'm following the um keely's inktober um, which is working out quite nicely because it's sort of Halloween-y themed ones and uh, this one right here let me just check on my phone because lord knows I've forgotten she's given like loads of different ones so like day one was your favourite tarot card um, day three is a curse so I did a picture of the dark mark for that um, this one is uh, day five, which is crescent moon, and um, I wanted to do something that was quite simple for it, nothing too big. So I kind of drew inspiration from my new finger tattoo, which you can see there, um, and I decided to do a bit of a foray into a dot work again, which I really liked doing a long time ago, but haven't done it for a while. So I'm not that good at it. Um, what I did was I drew a sort of sailor moon inspired. Um, sideways crescent moon on my uh, paper and then uh, covered in sort of dark grey ink wash background with uh, sort of blacker corners just to add a little bit of contrast and uh, you can see here this is where I start going now these are god I can't remember the name of them I think it's DeWent they're the line maker um, sort of pigment markers um, and I'm using that one, I think this is the 0.3, oh, yeah, they come in a set, 0.5, 0.3 and 0.1, and this is the 0.3. And as you can see, I'm just trying to sort of hold it as upright as I possibly can, because the one mistake that people always make when doing pointillism or dock work is that they hold it to the side, and you can get these kind of like almost little lines instead of dots. I mean, you can see it um, if you look really closely in some of the marks that I make on this one because I get a little bit lazy and let it slip. You can see that rather than being tiny little perfect circles, they're almost like sprinkles, like little flecks. And that's what can happen if you don't hold the pen almost dead upright. And um, unfortunately, it is just an awful lot of just exactly what you see here i mean i think the whole process of just doing the dot work not even taking into account the finishing in the background took about 20 minutes just on its own so this section here i'm going to try and speed it up a little bit more because it's just very much the same thing but you can see that there's a, a very good technique that you can use when you're trying to do sort of dot work or, or pointillism work where um, you just have to sort of almost lay down like a flat layer of dots to begin with um, that's how I do it anyway so I, I just tend to make that I mean you can see towards the middle because I know I wanted that to be the lightest part of the picture you can see that that was me actually laying my head down on the table because I've been doing this for so long at this point um, so yeah, I know I wanted it to be lighter in the middle, so you can see that I've got barely any dots there. But most of the time you start off with a flat layer, and then what I'm doing now in this part of the video is um, I'm going back in and you can see I'm only going down to a certain point on the, on, the, on the moon itself. And you sort of do it as if you would traditional shading, just with dots. So when you think about it, it's not actually that difficult, because the first one I ever did was a... Uh, uh, a, a dot work lily and I actually really like it it's on my Instagram somewhere 
but um, I sort of came in it thinking it's not going to look good, it's going to be really difficult and if you just apply sort of basic principles of normal shading to it, it's really not that difficult and by the end of this I was quite proud even though I just gave it two fingers then. <laughs> So this is something new that I bought for Inktober, it's one of those Stella Touch of Wink glitter pens or something. But this is the one in pink, um, if you look on my Instagram you can see that I used it for my um, day one of Inktober which was your favourite tarot card and seen as I don't have one because I can't possibly pick, um, I chose to do a cloud card instead and I did the whole background in this because I didn't realise when I bought it, it is literally a brush pen full of pink glitter, which I love. And this is my Winsor & Newton silver ink, or my metallic ink, because I use our Winsor & Newton. And I just, I find you have to really mix that one up because they're quite alcohol based, um, if that makes any sense. So the actual metallic pigment itself settles to the bottom, so especially with the gold one you have to really dig in there and just mix it all around. I think looking back on it, I probably wouldn't have done so much with the silver, I would have either just done splatters or I would have done dots but maybe with like a white Sakura jelly roll pen but either way I think it came off quite nicely and um, you know as you can see here in this next clip I'm quite proud of it um, so yeah sorry for the hiatus guys um, I've got a couple videos to come back with like I said I've been having issues with my computer so hopefully that's all sorted now but um, yes I should be back to a once a week uploading schedule videos every Monday and if you have any um, suggestions for future videos drop me a comment below and pop over to my Instagram and give me some Inktober love um, but yeah it was nice to get back to talking to you guys and I'll see you next week bye